I have always been speaking the prayer, Om Mani Padme Ho, but without actually knowing what it means. I have, uh, I have been asking this question to many of my elders, but I failed to get the answer. So, what does it mean? Prayer, and also recitation of mantra. Just to simply repeat the sound, not much help. Uh, I, and particularly, Om Mani Padme Ho, as one Buddhist mantra. So, the whole Buddhist system is utilize human intelligence maximum way through that way transform our emotion. That's Buddhist way of approach. The other also the tradition, most of these theistic religion, mainly through faith, through prayer to God, to Creator. It also immense powerful, a wonderful thing. All major religious tradition, she carries same message or same practice. That's practice of love, compassion, forgiveness, tolerance, self-discipline. Same. Then, most of the theistic religions, you see, prayer, 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 prayer is the most important part. Buddhist, Buddha stated, "You are your own master." Your future entirely depends on yourself. So, in Buddhism, Buddha taught study is very, very important. Knowledge is very important in order to utilize human intelligence fully. We have to know how to use. And in order to utilize, you must know the mental function, mental system, these things, as I mentioned before. So, you pay more attention, study what is the Buddhist system. Then, with understanding about the whole system, transformation of our mind, with that sort of clear sort of day, full of knowledge and ultimate aim and sincere motivation, then carry recitation of this mantra is very useful. Clear. Oh. Of course, I don't know whether relevant explain here or not, I don't know. But you see the six syllabus. Six syllabus. Om ma ni pe me hum. So om that so the mantra is common, Buddhism, and also many different Hinduism, Om. But here, Buddhists explain, Om here are three uh, letters, A Oma. That represents our body, and mind, speech. So there are, I'll say the two levels, body, speech, mind, impure level, that creates, uh, that's the basis of suffering. So therefore, the experiencer, where experiencer, pains and pleasure, the body, mind, mainly body and mind, trans transform into pure, pleasant, ever present, ever pleasant, right? ever pleasant body and mind. See, the body, mind, and then automatically speech also. So that represents our Oma. Om represents the impure level, impure part, and pure part. Now, how to transform impure part into pure? Right. Three impure, the transform into pure three. Then money and payment. Money means jewel. Here, jewel meaning altruism, infinite altruism. Then, Padma. Padma means wisdom. So, altruism and wisdom combine. That represents whom. Whom carry meaning of 
combination, altruism and wisdom combined. Through that way, that's the proper way, method to purify three impure in order to become pure three, body, speech, and mind. Clear? <laughs> like that. <laughs>